Hello, my name is Michael, and this is my presentation on diabetes treatment. Imagine this dilemma. You have a debilitating medical condition, but the one thing that can help you the most, you can't afford. Well, what if I told you this condition was diabetes, and the remedy? Insulin. The U.S., along with most other countries, need to do a better job allowing its citizens to receive excellent care at a price that doesn't break the bank. Insulin is a basic medical necessity that diabetics need on hand to avoid development of altered levels of consciousness or even a medical emergency. In this short dialogue, I hope to further explain diabetes and the role insulin plays, highlight the impact of unaffordable treatments, and introduce you all to some new developments that are emerging that may be the future of the condition. For those not familiar with how diabetes works, it is basically an inability for the body to regulate blood sugar. What insulin does is it forces glucose, how our body gets energy, into our cells to be broken down and used. In a type 1 diabetic, the pancreas doesn't properly make insulin, and so if not monitored, blood sugars can often run high. Type 1 diabetes is often genetic and present from a much younger age than that of type 2. For type 2 diabetics, it is an insensitivity of the cells of the body when reacting to insulin. In other words, the insulin may be made, but it takes a higher quantity of the hormone to achieve the same response. Type 2 is often acquired later in life and made much more likely with poor diet, sedentary lifestyle, smoking, and or obesity. Whether it is type 1 or type 2, high blood sugar can have serious consequences, including vomiting, seizures, and even death. A recent 2019 study led by Dr. Lipska found that one in four citizens that attended an urban diabetes center reported they were forced to underutilize insulin because of affordability. This number wasn't even including those that may underutilize, but were too embarrassed to admit it or may have not even reported it to their physician. Thousands of people are diagnosed with diabetes each day, and for most, keeping themselves safe and healthy is a financial obstacle they need to overcome. The patient may know their sugar is running high, but hesitation administering insulin due to financial burden is an issue, especially in the patient's long-term health. They may not get severely sick or die over a right way, but over time, this can spiral out of control. Along those same lines, a different study in 2020 spearheaded by Dr. Lau found that patients that couldn't take insulin because they couldn't afford it had significantly worse clinical outcomes. In other words, the failure to access affordable insulin had proven negative long-term effects on their overall health. One way this issue can be fixed is to increase insurance deductibles and include insulin as an essential medication that is made more affordable. Sadly, this is currently not in place, and even for diabetics, insulin is often not covered. So now that the problem has been established, it is beneficial to investigate advancements that are being made in the field to help with this issue. Currently, diabetics must stick themselves multiple times a day to check their sugar, which can be very unpleasant. But ongoing research is being done by Dr. Huang and her team um, with advancements such as a working artificial pancreas. This pancreas would not only regulate the glucose levels in the blood, but appropriately administer insulin based on how much is needed, much like a normally functioning pancreas would. We have talked a lot about insulin because it helps bring down high blood sugar levels, but low blood sugar levels is just as problematic, in some cases even worse. Technology like the artificial pancreas is helpful because it provides you with that information in a timely manner. Technology like this may cost a bit more upfront, but over time, the patient will have less discomfort with needles and experience less severe spikes in sugar levels. Additionally, there are many smartphone apps out today that help diabetics manage their blood sugar and live life as normal as possible. In conclusion, diabetics are too large a part of our population to ignore the current inflated prices that are required to obtain insulin, with the eating and exercise habits of the average American declining rather than improving. The number of diabetics is only going to keep going up. The purpose of this speech was to introduce the disease and its remedy, highlight the importance of proper maintenance, 
and educate on advancements that are being developed daily. Hopefully, in the coming years, insulin can be made more of a priority and be administered as more of a necessity and less of a luxury. Thank you. Perfect.